Good day, students! Welcome back to Maestrang Teki YouTube channel. We are down with our last lesson for quarter 2. Week 8 topic is about percent composition of compounds. If you haven't watched our week 1 to 6 lessons, check our description box for the links. For today's learning objective, you will be able to determine the percentage composition of a compound given its chemical formula and vice versa. So, what are you waiting for? Keep on watching! Suppose that you had your second periodical examination in science. When you get a score of 85% in the exam, it means that you have answered 85% correctly or you answered 85 items correctly. Another example to understand more is an instant coffee. Are you one of those coffee is life person? Let's say for example, that 3-in-1 or instant coffee is consists of coffee, sugar, and milk. One sachet of an instant coffee has 10 grams of coffee, 13 grams of sugar, 12 grams of milk. The sum of these three ingredients will be 35 grams of 3-in-1 coffee. Now, let us calculate the percent composition of coffee, sugar, and milk in a 3-in-1 coffee sachet. 10 grams of coffee divided by 35 grams equals 0 0.285714 and so on, times 100%, the result is 28.5714 and so on. Do not forget to round off to the nearest hundreds and our final answer will be 28.57%. Now let us proceed to the 13 grams of sugar divided by 35 grams times 100%. And again, let us round off to the nearest hundreds. The final answer is 37.14%. Lastly, we have 12 grams of milk divided by 35 grams times 100%. And then, round off to the nearest hundreds. The final answer will be 34.29%. Summing up these products, the result is... 100%. In the laboratory, you may perform experiments that will require you to prepare solutions or to verify the purity of some substances. Thus, you need to know how to calculate the percent compositions of compounds. And this is our formula. Mass percent is equal to mass of element divided by mass of compound multiplied to 100%. Let's have an example. Ethanol, an alcohol obtained by fermenting the sugar in grapes, corn, and other fruits and grains, with the chemical formula of C2H6O, is often added to gasoline as an octane enhancer to form a fuel called gasohol. Let us calculate the mass percent of ethanol. Take note class that one mole of ethanol molecules consists of 2 moles of carbon atoms, 6 moles of hydrogen atoms, and 1 mole of oxygen atom. Now, let us calculate the percent compositions of ethanol. First, let us determine the molar mass. From its chemical formula, we know that we have 2 carbon atoms, 6 hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom. By looking at the periodic table of elements, we can determine that the atomic mass of carbon is 12.01 gram per mole times 2 because we have two carbon atoms, the product is 24.02 gram per mole. The atomic mass of hydrogen by looking at the periodic table of elements is 1.008 gram per mole multiplied to 6 because we have 6 hydrogen. The result 
is 6.048 gram per mole. Lastly, the atomic mass of oxygen is 16.0 gram per mole. Multiplied to 1, the product is 16.0 gram per mole. To get the molar mass, let us add their products. And that is 46.068 gram per mole. Do not forget to round off our final answer to the nearest hundreds. Therefore, the molar mass of ethanol or C2H6O will be 46.07 gram per mole. Now, let us calculate the mass percent. Let us start with mass percent of carbon. Using our formula, mass percent of carbon in 1 mole of ethanol divided by mass of 1 mole of ethanol times 100%. And that is 24.02 grams divided by 46.07 grams. The quotient is 0 0.521380 and so on. Times 100%. Do not forget class to round off to the nearest hundreds. The product and the final answer will be 52.14%. Now, let us proceed to the mass percent of hydrogen. The mass percent of hydrogen and oxygen in ethanol are obtained in a similar manner. We have 6.048 grams divided by 46.07 grams times 100%. Final answer is 13.14%. Remember, round off to the nearest hundreds. Lastly, we have the mass percent of oxygen. Same process, just like what we did with carbon and hydrogen. The mass of oxygen is 16.0 gram, and the mass of ethanol is 46.07 gram. This is the quotient times 100% and round off to the nearest hundreds. The final answer is 34.73%. Reminder class, the mass percent of all the elements in a compound add up to 100%, although rounding off effects may produce small deviation. Adding up the percentages is a good way to check your final answer or to check your calculations. Let us try to visualize ethanol using a pie chart. Now, let us summarize our lesson for today. Percent composition is used to find the percentage of elements in a compound. You must know the molar mass of the elements and the compound in order to get percent composition. In chemistry, percent composition is important to analyze and to determine the empirical formula of a chemical substance. And that is it for our lesson this week. Do not forget to finish all your learning tasks. And also, don't be shy to comment down your questions. And if this video helped you, do not forget to click the like, share, and subscribe button. To keep you updated for future videos, turn on the bell button. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next one. Bye!